Hi guys, Richie Bob here, just filming a video real quick. And this is actually the second time I filmed it, but we won't mention that. Oh, we just did. A new stuff pack has been announced for The Sims 4, so I thought I would jump right on here and let you guys know about it and everything I know about it so far. And also put some links in the description for you guys to go and check out and dig a little deeper. This pack is called the Sims 4 Romantic Garden Stuff. With that title, I am immediately sceptical. I don't know if you are, but when we had movie hangout stuff, it was kind of garden orientated. Probably it was like boho, but the, with the lanterns and everything, the big screens, they were kind of encouraging you to get out in your garden. So this one is um, a little bit too close to that I get I guess but then if you enjoyed that and your sims are out there more I suppose it makes sense to then build on that area and it also goes nicely with Valentine's Day sorry about the lighting by the way if I look really red or whatever it's just I can't be bothered with professional lights they make me look naff so I just rather have fairy lights for me, you know. I get dissed no matter what lighting I use, so I might as well use something that I like. The email I got from the Sims team, and thank you so much to them for sending me this, says, spring is around the corner, love is in the air, and what better way to set the mood than with the Sims 4 romantic garden stuff pack. Create a beautiful garden that allows your Sim to surround themselves with beautiful flowers, gorgeous statues, and listen to some comforting classical music. Enjoy the new park fountain, which features new animations, which will bring to life your home or park venue. So that's quite intriguing. Hopefully they'll say more about that in the trailer or blog, which I obviously haven't seen at this point, but I will be watching it when you watch it. And is your sim looking for romance? Yes. Wanting more wealth? How did you know? Wanting to come back from the dead? No, then enjoy the new wishing well that can make all their dreams come true. But as they say, be careful what you wish for. My goodness, that's quite exciting. So there's a fountain that does something and a wishing well that can bring Sims back from the dead with consequences. <gasps> that's so good. I need to get my Snow White Sim on that. So like I said, I'll put a link to the launch trailer and the official blog in the description. I'm literally still on my tiptoes when I could just tip... Why do I just tip the angle of the tripod? Why do I... So definitely check that out and I'm also going to be streaming on Twitch as soon as I set this video live. So if you want to come chat about this, let me know your thoughts. Head over to twitch.tv forward slash richiebop. I will put a link to that in the description as well. I wouldn't want you to have to type. But do let me know your thoughts in your comments. You will have to type for that. Personally, like I said, I'm not like super bothered about the whole garden aspect. Although in the screenshot... It looks really beautiful with all the plants and things I'll, and I'm sure when I get used in it I'll really really like those and say oh it's really nice but it just seems so close to movie hangout with the garden thing and I do like the wishing well and yeah I like I really like that aspect of the game where making silly things happen and random things happen so the wishing well and maybe the fountain whatever that does will be really intriguing for me let me know your thoughts what you're most excited about what you couldn't care less about i know a lot of you don't bother with the stuff packs feel free to vent in the comments and i will see you in my next video thank you for watching bye